Hello everyone, this is a mid-fix video on the Turo recycler that I just picked up from my scrapper this week. I gave 20 bucks because it's complete, all the cables work for the drive line and the safety brake cable. So I tore it all down and degreased it, carburetors off, and I cleaned that. It wasn't too bad, it wasn't the worst one I've cleaned. So, I let it dry overnight and spray painted the engine block with the gloss black paint shaker can. Made it look all pretty again. So, I also spray painted the the recoil assembly as well cleaned out the gas tank as you remember it had that nasty air filter with 10 years of build up in it this is a 10 year old machine so over to the underside remember the um, drive line had all the vines wrapped around I took a razor blade and cut all those vines off and got a pile of vines so I was looking at the blade assembly here and thinking something wasn't right and what I've discovered is this this blade was put on backwards I've fixed about 50 mowers this season and three of them have had the mowers put on upside down so they've been cutting with the back side of the blade so this whole assembly here is wrong and I'll show you how it should have been set up this isn't the right configuration for this this bracket should not be sitting on the bottom like it is so actually the way it was set up the back of the blade here was doing the cutting the sharp side is here on the back side so this is turning like this the back side was doing the cutting hence this is all worn down I grabbed another blade out of my pile and it should actually have these three ribs on it so it, sh it should look something like that, or should have. And you can see how much wear was taken off the blade. This should actually face this way when it's turning. So I'll show you how this should be set up properly. Whoever did this got it all mixed up. Probably the one time they decided to sharpen the blade in the 10 years they've had it. They, they put all this on wrong. So what should happen is, you see this is concave. The, the blade itself is stamped. You can see it's pressed. You can see the press marks here. So this should fit in into that groove like that and I'll show you what the that backing plate does that should go on like that technical difficulties trying to do this with one hand show you here in a second how this should go <clears throat> so that should go on like that with that backing plate here on the outside then you screw it to the center hole that's how that should be set up this the blades actually sandwiched between that bracket and this outer bracket so it doesn't freewheel and spin 
it goes in that channel and it stays in that channel and you have the sharp side of the blade here so this turns clockwise an easy way for me to remember is look at the sharp side of the blade and where it's going to be pushing the grass so I look at the chute here so the the sharp edge here is going to be pushing the grass out the chute the way they had mounted it with the sharp side was on the back here so they must have chopped the shit out of their grass having the this side here being the cutting edge hence the worn down blade who knows when it was done how many seasons it took to sandblast that down flat anyway that's what we got going on today I'll get all this tightened down and put on the carburetor clean up the deck a little bit and uh, this one should be advertised soon so there you go. Don't put your blade on upside down. Continue to have a nice day.